Michael Jordan is globally recognized as one of the greatest basketball players of all time. He is not just known for his impeccable skills on the court, but also for his ability to mentally dominate his opponents through trash talking. In this video, we will delve into the art of trash talking and how Jordan mastered it to gain a competitive edge. Trash talking is a common practice in sports where players engage in verbal exchanges with their opponents to intimidate, distract, and destabilize them mentally. While it may seem like a simple act, trash talking requires a certain finesse to be effective and Michael Jordan was a master of it. One of the key aspects of Jordan's trash talking was his ability to identify his opponent's weaknesses and exploit them. Whether it was mocking their style of play, pointing out their limitations, or questioning their abilities, Jordan always knew how to hit a nerve. By doing so, he successfully got into his opponent's heads, which often resulted in them making mistakes or becoming emotionally unstable during the game. Another facet of Jordan's trash talking was his impeccable timing. He knew exactly when to deliver his verbal jabs to have the maximum impact. Whether it was during a crucial play, a crucial moment, or even during a timeout, Jordan always found the right moment to rattle his opponents. This ability to seize the perfect moment gave him an upper hand as it disrupted his opponent's concentration and focus. What made Jordan's trash talking even more effective was his ability to back it up with his game. Jordan was not just a master of words, he was a master of his craft. He would often follow up his intimidating words with phenomenal plays on the court, leaving his opponents in awe. This combination of mental warfare and extraordinary skills reinforced his reputation as not just a trash talker, but a player who could back it up. Moreover, Jordan's trash talking was not limited to just his opponents. He would often engage in trash talking with his own teammates during practices and games. Although this may seem counterproductive, it served a purpose. By challenging and pushing his teammates, he motivated them to put in their best effort and strive for greatness. Jordan knew that in order to achieve success, he needed everyone on board, and trash talking was one of the ways he created a competitive environment. However, it is important to note that Jordan's trash talking was not just about belittling his opponents or teammates. It was a mental tactic used to gain an advantage on the court. Jordan knew that by getting under his opponent's skins, he could disrupt their focus and make them doubt themselves. This psychological warfare was an integral part of his overall strategy to win games. In conclusion, Michael Jordan's trash talking abilities were instrumental in his success as a basketball player. His knack for identifying weaknesses, impeccable timing, ability to back it up with his game, and motivation of his teammates through trash talking set him apart from his peers. Jordan's trash talking was not just about words, it was an art that he had mastered to gain a competitive edge. As we celebrate his legacy, let us not forget the impact of his mental dominance on the court, which truly made him the greatest of all time.